Friends, I'm so pleased that you're taking part in the Shining as Lights course. That phrase, Shining as Lights, of course, picks up um, some words that are spoken at every service of baptism, every service of confirmation. So um, if you've been baptised, these words have been spoken over you. And if you've been confirmed, then they've been spoken over you twice. At the end of the service of baptism and again at the end of the service of confirmation as a sort of commissioning. The minister, or in the service of confirmation, the bishop says to the candidates as they're presented with a lit candle, you have received the light of Christ, shine as a light in the world to the glory of God the Father. I suppose there's a, a question that I would like to put to you as you take part in this course, Shining as Lights, and it's, how's it going? How are you shining for Christ as a light in the world? How brightly are you shining? Do you feel that that light that you receive from Christ is indeed burning uh, for the sake of God's glory in the world among those with whom you live and work? And then specifically, how? How might Jesus be calling you to shine for him, given your circumstances, given your life, given the circle of friends and family that you have, given your passions, given your gifts? How might you be called to shine as a light? for Christ, shining in the world to the glory of God the Father. I hope this course is going to help you to think about that and to invest in burning brightly for the Lord.